Hi Church, hope you are well and having a great day wherever you're watching this devotion from and whatever time, I hope your day is going really well. My name's Darren and I am one of the pastors at Audacious Church based at our Manchester Central location and today I'm going to talk to you about my church and uh, my church is quite simply amazing and the great thing for me is that you are a part of it. It's our church, a place where we can grow, see our families grow, build friendships, have fun, know love and support, encounter Jesus and see transformation. I personally have been fortunate to grow up in church and I thank my parents for this. They regularly took me to church and I have to say it was an amazing place. It was alive. There was a buzz about it, an incredible atmosphere and environment. And there was people there um, from of all ages and from all backgrounds. Um, it, was, it was just fantastic. And um, Proverbs 22 verse 6 says this, train up a child in the way that they should go. And when they are old, they will not depart from it. My parents, this is what I know from them and I believe, is that they knew the importance of faith uh, and exemplifying Jesus and Christianity in our home. They read the Bible to me, prayed with me. Uh, they made sure I got to Sunday school and youth camps. They drove miles to ensure that I was in good environments. They knew the importance of church in my life and for my future. Um, and they wouldn't let me neglect that. Um, Hebrews 10, 25 says we shouldn't neglect meeting together as some of us are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, loving one another, supporting one another and being with one another because we know the day is approaching. That's what Hebrews 10, 25 says. There was, there was always brilliant things going on in the church and I thought uh, Sunday school was brilliant and the church building was large and impressive with a huge steeple and I would always often ask to climb it but was never never allowed the main ven venue with these oak pews was my childhood playground and as I'm thinking about this now and thinking about those pews and that environment and that atmosphere I can almost smell the the woody fragrance that they that they gave off it was home for me there was the minor hall um, where we often played football and uh, the little kitchen where chips were served from the local chippy every Friday night at, at youth. It was an old building with creaky floorboards and dark cellars. Um, and over the years, it was modernised. Um, it, was, it was enhanced, it was improved um, so that we could gather together more comfortably. Well, more warmly, really, because um, church wasn't always comfortable. It was challenging and I found it challenging. I was taught from an early age that church wasn't the building, it was the people, the leadership, the moments of revelation, the inspiration, the challenge, seeing those who served, prayed, led and supported each other, watching how a community of faith would come together and love and care for everyone. I heard messages that changed my life as I encountered more and more of the truth of God's word. His house became a place where I grew physically, mentally, relationally and spiritually. I developed lifelong friendships and, and encountered leadership that cared for me, supported me and often, always challenged me. It was my church where I fell in love with Jesus and wanted to follow him all the days of my life. It was in my church that my friendships and relationships grew. It was in my church where I learned the importance of serving and giving. It was in my church where when bad things happened, help and support was given. I remember when um, our family went through bankruptcy and just watching the church come around them, watching the church support them, watching our small group help with fuel and food and and housing we were we were housed by a local family in the church and it was just it was just incredible it it impacted my life to see how Jesus worked through people and how the church cared and supported for us i thank my parents who served diligently in many roles within church for always taking me and positioning me in this amazing environment for making tough calls that a screaming kid and cocky teenager didn't understand but now does for making decisions that meant i became firmly rooted in faith and for instilling in me the importance of church into my life and now my family's life it was a place we called home and i still call home my church is still this place. 
It's a different building from the one I grew up in and there are many, many more people. It's a place and community in which I'm still growing, still challenged and still supported. My church, Audacious Church, is a place where I now bring my kids and I see them growing. My children immersed in a community of, of faith and a culture of, of faith. An amazing kids church, awesome youth nights and youth camp. Friendships that are growing, an environment that ensures they can encounter Jesus. Grow in faith, see miracles and have moments of transformation and fun. My church is quite simply amazing. And the great thing for me is that you are part of it. It's our church, a place where we can grow, see our families grow, build friendships, have fun, know love and support, encounter Jesus and see transformation. It's a place where I know my kids can grow up and experience to a greater degree everything that I experience, that they can encounter Jesus, that they can grow in faith, that they can be loved, cared, supported, and in future generations, their kids, my grandkids, wow, will be in that environment. And I'm totally thankful for my church. Have a great rest of your day. Church, love you, think you're amazing, praying that you will be blessed, that you will see favour, that you will see growth, that you will see provision, that you will have moments of revelation, moments of fun and moments of transformation in your day today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great rest of your day. Love you, church. Bye.